Hey, hey, in this video, learn how to easily install and set up Unity for free in this step-by-step -step tutorial. The first thing that you wanna do is go to Unity's website, unity.com. It'll look something like this. Generally, you'll look for a download button as they do change their website often. You can click on the plans and pricing, but no, this is a free program when you're just learning and getting started, not making any money yet. Scroll down to the Unity personal version and click on the download now. This will take us to the download page. Of course, we gotta accept the cookies. Yummy, yummy. Scroll down and select your computer OS. Since I'm working on Windows, we're gonna download the Unity Hub download for Windows. So we'll click on that. In Chrome, it shows it's downloading either at the top or bottom, depending on your version. So one way to run this is to go ahead and click this to run the install. Otherwise, you can go to Windows Explorer or press Windows E, then click this PC, and then click your Downloads folder underneath that, and then you can double click the Unity Hub Setup install file. I'll need to agree to the terms, then choose the install location. I like to use the default location. When finished, I will leave checked Run Unity Hub because that's where we're going to actually choose what version of Unity to install. So click Finish. Unity requires you log in with an account, or you can create an account, which will come in handy when downloading free game assets. You can use these four buttons at the bottom to link an account if you already have, say, a Google account, and that'll make it really easy. You click that and create it. You can always change your email address used in your account settings later if needed. Now that logged us into the website. We also want to have it log us into Unity Hub. So you can check the box and click open in Unity Hub. For the Unity personal license, we'll need to agree to the terms. This pop-up is suggesting the most recent LTS long-term support version of Unity to install. And so that would be fine to just go ahead and install. However, I want a specific version to continue a project and not change versions. So I'm going to skip installation. To install another version, let's click on Install Editor. Some versions are listed, but not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to click on the archive button and you will find all the different versions here. Select the visit our download archive. What's awesome is Unity Hub lets you install multiple versions so you can work on different projects with different people. Once you find the version you want, you're gonna click that install, or it used to say open in Unity Hub. But once you click install, it will pop up the message, do you want to open with Unity Hub? Yes, I do. It brings up the add-ons or modules that you can easily install alongside with Unity. We definitely want Microsoft Visual Studio checked because that's the IDE, Integrated Developer Environment, aka the fancy name for program to write our code in. And I also like to select the Windows Build Support and WebGL build support as well. So you can check if you need any of those or you want any of those, or you can just wait and add those later on. So then click continue. I'll need to accept the Visual Studio terms as well. And then click install. I can expand this. When it gets to Visual Studio, it will have its own pop-up prompt to go through and approve its installation. This may take a few minutes. Click continue for the Visual Studio installer. Now Visual Studio is asking if we want any of its own extra add-ons, in which case we scroll down and we're going to select game development with Unity. On the side, it shows what's included and a few options. I will uncheck Unity Hub since we already have that installed now and let's click install. You'll notice it will ask you to sign in. On my home machine, it logs me in automatically with my connected Microsoft account. 
Otherwise, you have two options. If you are with a school, you may have an account with your school email already that you can use with the login. Or option two, you can just log in with a personal account. Microsoft accounts are free. All right, we can go ahead and close this window and Visual Studio is installed. So we can go ahead and close this out as well. Back in Unity Hub, you will also see Unity install is complete. Congratulations, Unity is successfully installed. Here, it'll also show if you have any other versions installed as well, which you can also do at any time. It will literally just list them. Now to show or test that everything's working, we're going to click on the Projects tab and create a new project. So click that blue button. At the top, you'll see the current editor version, which you can change if you click on it, if you have multiple versions installed. On the left side here, we'll see some categories. We can click all templates, as you may not know what you want to first start with. But we look here, the most basic is going to be the 2D or 3D, in this case core. Sometimes they have it just called 2D or 3D. On the right hand side, we'll scroll down and click in the project name field. I could name this my first project or whatever the name of your game might be or project. Next is the location. Where are you saving your game? In this case, I like to just save it to the desktop. Although you do want to be careful that you're not going to delete that project that's on your desktop. For the organization, you can select your account or if it'll let you leave it blank. You can connect to Unity Cloud depending on if you need those services. I would check out the website for that to get more information. Click Create Project and it'll start setting that up for you. You'll see that loading there in the projects. On Windows, I'll get a firewall pop up basically because Unity needs the internet for certain things. So we can go ahead and allow access. So Unity will also access our account. It always takes the longest to create the project. And here comes the exciting moment, the climax of our install journey. Once Unity opens and you launch it for the first time, you feel that sense of accomplishment. And it is, trust me, that Unity interface pop-up is a game changer. It's the beginning of your game development adventure. It's your first step in the direction. The fun doesn't stop here. If you want to learn more about game development and tips and tricks with Unity, make sure to check out my other tutorials. So what are you waiting for? Start your game development journey today and unleash your creativity.